here yet. Damn it, turn us around, Max. We have to enter again. This is the third time. Uh, Max, come on. We borrowed these coats from Oleg to make a dramatic star entrance. If you want me to fake it again, you have to buy me dinner and call me pretty. <laughs> Fine, then help me down quickly. I don't want to be mid-dismount when the stable guy walks in. on my face. Like, I haven't done enough for you. Oh, hello. Are you Tony? Last time I checked. Oh, jeez. I'm Caroline Channing. We spoke on the phone, and this is Chestnut. Max, step back. All right, great. I'll just be over here like the awkward father in the background on toddlers and tiaras. Oh, here he is. And as we discussed, Chestnut is a champion jumper. His dressage is impeccable. He's ridden three times at the Hampton Classic, and he comes from a historically elite line of distinguished show horses. And he pees like a civil rights fire hose. <laughs> Max, step further back. Come on, let's cut to the chase. He's nice, brown, he looks sick in leggings, and he's free. So take him or leave him. When did you say he was a jumper? From 2005 to 2010. He was in a class by himself. Well, maybe he was a jumper, but... He isn't anymore. What? Well, he's a little out of shape. Well, you have a gut. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, he's seen better day. I'm just saying, your hair's falling out in fistfuls. Oh. OK, OK. Let's not get personal. We all want this to work. He's the one who's getting personal going after Chestnut like that. OK, you tell me. When's the last time he's exercised? When's the last time you exercised? <laughs> wow, show business is rough. All right, it's Tony, right? Last time I checked. All right, Tony, you'll have to forgive her. She really loves him and wants this to work out. Bottom line is, even a free horse isn't free. I still have to feed him and take care of him. And truth be told, this horse isn't going to make me a penny. If my film guy comes in here, he's going to pick that beauty over this one. Oh. So it's not going to work out, girls. All right, well, we got other offers, fatty. All right, well, let's go. Maybe next time, before you let someone ride five miles across Brooklyn in a toxic Russian cologne-soaked Renifer, you should be clear that the film business, even for horses, is ageist and elitist. And yes, we may have seen better days, but with hard work, determination, and a little luck, one day we'll be back on top. Yeah, and I'm not impressed by your big star pony over there. You're just standing still. You want to impress me? Have a meow and ring a doorbell. <laughs> Don't take it personally, Chestnut. Those horses have had work done.